Wojciech Wenclawowicz is the fittest 70-year-old you've ever seen. He's more ripped and muscular than the average 20-year-old. He competed in the Polish Ninja Warrior TV show. He does crazy calisthenics tricks that even a regular 20-year-old can't do. And he won a silver medal in pentathlon at the Masters World Championships in 2019. Wojciech was sliding downhill with his health and fitness in his 60s. But after his son started coaching him, he transformed his physique that puts most 20-year-olds to shame. I'm going to be sharing you Wojciech Wojciech's workout routine and his diet and whether or not he's taking any testosterone replacement therapy. First, it's important to realize that Wojciech was a gym teacher before his retirement. This is the oldest clip I found from his YouTube channel and it's from 1992. That's over 30 years ago and he was 38 years old at the time. As you can see, Wojciech was already pretty athletic, lean and muscular in his late 30s and he probably carried it over to his 40s. However, in his 60s he had gotten a bit too loose and relaxed in his retirement. He was drinking beers, not exercising and starting to gain a significant amount of body fat. From the photos in his 60s you can see that he still has a significant amount of muscle. You can see he's got even some veins in his shoulders and there is a hint of some abs. It's just that he's got too much body fat that covers it all up. Fast forward to his transformation and he's lost all excess body fat and is looking lean. He didn't actually add or gain more muscle. He already had a history of being athletic and semi-muscular and he just lost the body fat that covered up his muscles. And one of the questions you might have is, what if he wasn't that athletic before? What if he actually never exercised before his 60s? It is true that it becomes harder to build muscle with age because of down-regulation of anabolic hormones like testosterone and anabolic resistance that makes it harder to trigger protein synthesis. However, there are dozens of studies that show that even people in their 80s and 90s are able to build a significant amount of muscle and strength. Both 85 and older as well as 65 to 75 year olds can see increases in muscle mass by up to 5%. Just 8 weeks of resistance training in adults aged 86 to 96 has been seen to increase muscle strength by 180%, muscle size by 9% and walking speed by 48% from baseline. You might think that increasing muscle size by 9% isn't that much but it's actually massive even for someone in their 20s or 30s. If you've never done any form of resistance training before and then you start in your 60s or even 80s then you're going to actually make a lot of improvements very fast. It's called this newbie gains period. Your body isn't adapted to the stimulus, it's a new stimulus and therefore you get a lot of improvements very fast. Now Wojciech wasn't a newbie to working out. However, he still experienced what's called muscle memory. The old pathways in the nervous system got reactivated because he had a long history of exercise before. Now, he might have had some help with TRT as well, but we're going to discuss that a bit later. Now that this is out of the way, what does his workout routine look like? Like I said, he's very athletic and impressive for his age. He can do obstacle course racing, calisthenics, handstands, backflips, sprints, back levers, and many other tricks. He also has an impressive vertical jump for his age. Explosiveness and power output are the biggest thing that decrease in proportion with age. I found online that he only works out three times a week and doesn't believe in wearing out the body too much. His son is his personal trainer and inspired him to get back in shape. Apparently Wojciech as a gym teacher was the one who taught his son to be very athletic at a young age as well. If you do the math then his son should be in his late 30s and is also incredibly athletic and fit. What about Wojciech's diet? I haven't found a specific video of him outlining his diet and most of the interviews that he's done they're all in Polish so I don't understand it. But here are the things I've found from other videos. He does 16-8 intermittent fasting which basically means he eats in an 8 hour window and fasts 16 hours. His first meal is scrambled eggs with spinach. He also eats yogurt, berries, nuts, fish, salmon, chicken and tries to stick to lower glycemic carbs like quinoa. For his body weight he probably eats around 2000 calories or less a day because I think he weighs something between 68 to 72 kilograms which isn't that much. That's a pretty simple and clean diet. This is also one of the biggest reasons he's able to maintain such leanness. Now the question everyone's been probably wondering, is he taking testosterone replacement therapy? Well Wojciech himself says he doesn't inject anything but that could mean almost anything. I personally think that he probably takes some testosterone replacement therapy. However, he doesn't look like someone who's taking massive amounts of gear. First of all, he was already ripped and athletic before retirement and it's not impossible for him to just lose the fat at his age. Second, he's not a mass monster. He looks crazy jacked but that's because of the low levels of body fat which creates an illusion of having a lot of muscle. Like I said, he probably weighs like 68 or 72 kilograms which isn't a lot. Okay, so let's say he is on TRT. Is it going to have any harmful effects to his longevity? A 2012 observational study on men with low testosterone levels saw that TRT use 
was associated with decreased mortality. A 2018 meta-analysis found that in epidemiological studies, TRT use is linked to reduced mortality and cardiovascular morbidity. But in randomized controlled trials, TRT isn't linked to higher cardiovascular disease risk, but it doesn't reduce the risk either. Overall, having low testosterone levels in the hypogonadal zone is actually quite bad for your long-term health, and it is going to increase the risk of many of the chronic diseases. So by fixing that with TRT, then you will certainly reduce your risk of mortality by reducing the risk of obesity and heart disease. For his age, it's still very impressive to have such a physique and athletic performance, even if he were to be taking TRT. He's definitely healthier than he was before, and he has like reversed the trajectory where his health was heading towards. If you want to know how to start, then check out my full evidence-based longevity routine that talks about diet, exercise, supplements, sleep, and much more. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.